there was a New York Times article, uh, and this was the headline recently, for car thieves, Toronto is a candy store. What do you make of the fact that Toronto has this reputation? I guess we have a lot of candies. We have a lot of good cars here in Toronto. Um, yes. Let's have a listen to Olivia Chow, and she's joking around that we have a lot of candies. Maybe she uh, shouldn't worry about changing street signs and what other things that leftists want to do that don't actually fix a city or anything like that. And I'm even surprised she got elected. What happened to the uh, Chinese interference? How come we never found out anything? Like all elections should have stopped, in my opinion, but this is who Toronto got. This is who you voted. This is it. Let's have a listen to her, and I'll give my comments as we go through. I do know that last year was like 12,200 cars were stolen. And this year alone, the number have doubled uh, between January to now, uh, comparing to last year to, to now. Uh -huh. So the numbers have dramatically increased. And it's uh, a bit violent, some of them. Um, some will just bash through the door and run in. Uh, mm. Others are uh, bump you at the back. Uh, and uh, come in and try to pull you out and get your keys and drive off, that kind of thing. So uh, whether it's home invasions and, and there are many different styles where people get their car stolen. So what? That sounds pretty serious. And I've seen the video, too. It was like four guys uh, bashing the door and one kick at a time in a rotation and then running off. It is very serious in Toronto. And I hope that she actually wakes up I don't know what cloud nine she thinks she's on, but she should really pay attention to this. And it is, it's, uh, she's raising taxes too because she can't manage the budget. Let's uh, continue. What do you want to see police do about this? Because you're right, there were 68 carjackings this year so far. Uh, you, you mentioned the, the 12,000 number, which is just over 12,000. Those are pretty shocking statistics. Do you think that police are doing enough to stop this? And also, what would you like to see the federal government do? The police are doing as much as they can. Perhaps they can always do more. Uh, they respond, they show up, they track the cars, if the car have the trackers in it. And uh, as you know, policing is 100% funded by the city of Toronto. Uh, we're hoping that we get a bit more financial support provincially and from the federal government. Mm -hmm. What sometimes happens is that when the cars get driven off to, say, a Montreal port, is the Canada uh, CBSA, mm -hmm. Canada Border Service Agency, that check these containers. And these containers sometimes have cars in them. Now, the police, whether it's Montreal or Toronto, police have no jurisdiction. CBSA need to uh, check. Right now, they do check if it is a complaint. Mm -hmm. But if the Toronto police don't know where the car have gone to, it's hard to complain. Do you believe that, that the police, they, own, they look in the containers? Because I highly doubt there's people with air tags and they can see it on a map leaving out through Montreal. And why is it always Montreal? Is there something with the corruption, with the, with the like construction in Montreal has been going on for, for a lifetime? Like it never gets finished. You got to wonder too where all that money goes and the, maybe some organized crime is involved. Do you think Elsa, she's talking like to a union member because the Toronto police, they're doing a good job and all this stuff. Like they're doing the best they can, but when it's politicians that say like defund the police and don't stick up for them, that's a problem. And also Trudeau, the federal guy, how he lets criminals get out of jail. They get commit the crime in the morning, get out the jail in the afternoon and continue on doing it. And there's another point too I'll bring up Let's, uh, let's continue watching Olivia do this. So what would be really helpful is the CBSA, which is uh, federal, yeah. would randomly check all these containers. So as they are going out to other countries or leaving Montreal, for example, that they get randomly checked, checked often. Sounds like randomly checked means hire more government employees. Like, how dare you want to not fund these services. That's what it sounds like. Hire more government employees to randomly check. And I'm going to bring up this point here too. Now let's, let's bring this in with service Canada. This here service Ontario employees are involved in the theft. 
And this article is from 2016. See that down the bottom? 2016. And it's going on for many years. We're talking years. Ever since Trudeau got in, that is very sus. But what's happening is the thief, the inside job from the Service Ontario, the thief calls up their connection and says, hey, I need one of those uh, Lexus uh, RS. Or I'm looking for a red one. Do you have anything like that? And they, you know, they say, oh, uh, give me a second there. Oh, uh, yeah, I have one. It's, uh, would you like something close so you don't have to pay any uh, too much gas to drive there? Oh, yeah, we have one. It's close within five minutes. You can go there. It's at this address. Pick it up. That's where the location is. Like, that's what they do. And then they get a cut of some money. That's the whole process. And this is Doug Ford is involved in this, too. Like, he won't do anything about it which is really, really sad as well that they won't, that they won't clamp down on it. So yeah, it's actually the government employees that have this personal information of a license plate check to a model of a car, color and address. And they just type it in the computer and off they are. And the guy just drives to the address and picks it up. Let's keep going. Right. And then uh, we would be able to recover a lot more cars. Do, do you think that the Toronto police are doing a good job when it comes to communication and, and, and telling people what they need to do? Because there was, you know, last week, that, that story that has gone viral about one police officer saying, you know, put your fobs close to the door. Uh, you know, well, they, hide they, it. Don't, uh, don't show it. They, they, yeah. they backtracked on that. You know, the premier said, OK, you might as well leave milk, milk and cookies. So <laughs> do, do, do you think that, uh, you know, Toronto police are doing an effective job when it comes to informing the public about what they should be doing? Well, the, the public knows. Uh, it's not something that uh, if someone bash your door down, it's not much you can do, right? Uh, or if someone bump you at the back and try to... She finds a lot of things funny and hilarious that is so sad of a leader. She finds it funny that people are stealing the cars and to leave the cookies out. And they backtracked it, Whew. dodged a bullet. They backtracked the comment about leaving the fobs. Who, what was the purpose of saying that? Was it to say exactly that, to leave cookies out? Like, did they just say, oh yeah, that's, that's a great idea. Like, is this guy from the top down telling him to do it, do that? Is he just a spokesman for some dumb decision that these government employees are making? Like, when did Canadians and Torontonians have to pander to criminals because politicians like her won't do what's needed? And this all goes back to Trudeau, too, as well, that he lets them off. But let's uh, keep going. Drag you out and all that kind of... Um, uh, it's not what people can do. Yeah. It's not. I don't think the onus is on the car owners. It's really on catching these criminals uh, as quickly as possible or making sure that they can't sell it overseas, right? Which is where the federal government comes in. There are, there are task force now that would, mm -hmm. so the police, not just Toronto, all working together through the GTA and through uh, Montreal, because this is uh, mostly Montreal and Toronto. It's a big city problem, right? Mm -hmm. Vancouver. But they have to have a way to ship those cars out of the country or mm. else they're not making the money. And if you can kill off that source of them getting the money, which is stopping it, the containers from leaving the country, that would be effective. Okay. You know, stopping the containers, it's actually everything leaving Canada is what she's stopping. She would slow the economy down. Where's Christia Freeland uh, going to her and saying, how dare you want to sh slow down the gross domestic product, because that's what she, her aim is. Hire government employees to randomly check, to check containers, and then have more, to randomly check the containers. Like, that is her logic. What about putting that criminal, I guarantee, you put that criminal in jail for a month, or, and they will stop doing it. Put them for a month, and if they, they do it two, three times, then lock it up, you're in for, uh, Whatever, 30 years, that's the end of it. You're done. And just check for there. Anyway, thanks for watching. And that's Olivia Chow with her, I don't know, laughing. She's laughing and finds it so funny that cars are stolen in Toronto. Isn't that just suck for you? And uh, maybe she's ready to change some more street names, you know, because that's all that she's uh, 
that, I don't know, what, what is she going to do, open up pools earlier? Maybe that's the highest priority now. It's nearly the summer. So maybe she'll open up the pools, every one of the peasants at, uh, what is it, June 1st or something like that when it's hot. Maybe that's what she'll, uh, she'll do instead. Thanks for tuning in to Canada Wide News. Hold up before you dash off. A little birdie tells me many of you are ghosting around here without joining the subscriber crew. Given Trudeau's keen interest,